Mr. Chair Chairman. recognizes Ms. Mays from South Carolina. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, uh, Chairman Comer. Um, first of all, my first question is who bribed Hunter Biden to be here today? That's my first question. Um, second question, you are the epitome of white privilege, coming into the Oversight Committee, spitting in our face, ignoring a congressional subpoena to be deposed. What are you afraid of? You have no balls to come up here and- M Mr. Chairman, point of inquiry. Mr. Chairman, um, if the, the lady recognizes, if, 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 if the general lady Christ wants to hear from names. Hunter Biden, we can hear from him right now, Mr. And Chairman. Let's take a vote Christ and hear from I'm Hunter speaking. Biden. What are, are you afraid of? Hold on, hold on, of? hold on, hold on. Order, are order, order. Are women allowed to, allow to speak in here or no? Are women allowed to speak in here or no? Did you keep interrupting me? I, I'll interrupt the you chairman. Keep interrupting. I don't know that he's a lady. I think but, that uh, that Hunter Biden should be arrested right here, right now, and go straight to jail. Our nation is founded on the rule of come law. Come on, come on. And the premise come that on. the law applies to equally to everyone, no matter what your last Point of order, Mr. Chairman. Um, Point of it order. It doesn't matter who you are. Point of order, Mr. Chairman. Biggs over Donald here. Donald Trump Jr. Biggs over here. Uh, state your point, Mr. Biggs. Yeah, my, my point of order is this. Are we going to continue on with, with this blatant interruption? It, this, this is absurd and inappropriate. I intend to give my statement. I don't intend to have anybody interrupt uh, I'm not going to interrupt your statements. I think you should have decorum and courtesy and don't act like a bunch of nimrods. You just interrupted a woman. And, and that's five. You know, I got, I got we, permission. Can we I agree? Did, Everyone Mr. has Mr. five Chairman, minutes. Can we agree? Point, point of order again. The assertion that I interrupted was absolutely false. That's typical of the gentleman who spoke it. I got permission to speak from the chairman. I spoke. I was interrupted yet again right. by the gentleman who doesn't choose to go through the chair and follow proper order. I encourage us, I, I, I think if we're going to have any respect at all, we need to have proper decorum. Well, you're well back. said, well said. I'd like to finish. The rules are everyone's going to be recognized for five minutes. Anyone that wants to be recognized will be recognized for five minutes. Ms. Mace has four minutes and 13 seconds left. Chair recognizes it, Ms. Mace. It does not matter who you are, where you come from, or who your father is, or your last name. Yes, I'm looking at you, Hunter Biden, as I'm speaking to you. You are not above the law at all. The facts in this case are crystal clear. This committee used and issued a lawful subpoena to Hunter Biden, a critical witness in this committee's investigation into Biden family corruption. Hunter Biden and his lawyers did not claim privilege of any kind because clearly he has none. They didn't contest the legitimacy of our reasons for issuing the subpoena, no reasons, because they clearly are legitimate. And yet, he refused to comply. Uh, Trump's family members, Don Trump Jr., he, uh, he did not defy a congressional subpoena. He showed up multiple times for multiple depositions for several hours. Um, in doing so, you know, Hunter Biden broke the law. He did so deliberately. You did so flagrantly. You showed up on the Hill, on the Senate side, the day of that congressional subpoena to defy it and spit in the face of this committee. That's what you did. The question the American people are asking us is, what is Hunter Biden so afraid of? Why can't you show up for a, d a congressional deposition? You're here for a political stunt. This is just a PR stunt to you. This is just a game that you are playing with the American people. You're playing with the truth. Um, Hunter Biden wasn't afraid to sell access to Joe Biden to the highest bidder when he was in elected office. He wasn't afraid to trade on the Biden brand, peddle influence, and share those ill-gotten gains with members of, of his family, including Joe Biden. He wasn't afraid to compromise the integrity of the presidency and vice president by involving Joe Biden in shady business deals with our foreign adversaries. But Hunter Biden, you were too afraid to show up for a deposition. And you still can't today. Um, I believe that Hunter Biden should be held completely in contempt. I think he should be hauled off to jail right now because it wasn't long ago, two of my friends on the other side of the aisle, um, that you also believed in the, the power of a congressional subpoena. Not long ago at all, you believed in holding those who refused to comply with a congressional subpoena accountable. And I stood with each and every one of you. I am the only member in this room today who has held a member of my own party in contempt of Congress for not showing up for a subpoena. And I see nothing but complete hypocrisy on the other side of the aisle. The ranking member of this committee even so eloquently put it, the lesson is please tell your children out there in America, if you get a subpoena to go before Congress, go. You have a legal responsibility 
to do so. So the hypocrisy is stunning. What are we to tell our children today? There's nothing the other side can say with a straight face. As the only member of this committee to vote to hold a member of contempt of my own party, let me be clear, this should not be a partisan issue. If Congress issues a subpoena, you show up, period. This is not a responsibility we take lightly. It brings no joy for us to do this, but the president's son broke the law and must be held accountable in the same way anybody else would. I urge my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to do so. And my last message to you, Hunter Biden, you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. And will the gentle lady him. yield for a question? Will the gentle lady yield? Will my friend yield from South Carolina? Sure. Um, I, I do want to commend the gentle lady who was the only Republican who stood up uh, and voted to hold in contempt the Republican members of the House who blatantly and categorically refused to comply with subpoenas that came from the bipartisan January 6th committee. I would like to ask my friend Ms. Mace from South Carolina um, whether she's aware of all the case law which says that the committee has to engage in good faith interaction with the witnesses they've called and they're supposed to arrive at a solution. And what do you think about the fact that the chairman on multiple occasions gave this witness the opportunity to come before the full committee and he agreed to that? We issued a congressional subpoena and I know with your constitutional law background, you know exactly what that means and he should have showed up and because of your vote and because of your statements, you should be voting to hold, hold this man in contempt of Congress today, right now, if you're gonna be consistent on your own policies and your own words. 